welcome to another working from home diaries episode slash home studio vlog i've just got ready and got dressed because i found that it makes me so much more motivated when i get up and i get dressed and i do my makeup and i get ready for the day it's actually like beautiful weather outside so i'm super super happy to have my lunch outside in the nice sunshine and in this vlog i really really want to finally start journaling and documenting my feelings and everything because i feel like it will be so good for my mental health writing a diary and also kind of sharing like a gratitude journal with myself as well and writing down all the things that i loved about that day so incorporating kind of a journal with kind of an art sketchbooky style as well and scrap book anyway that's what i want to do today i want to start like journaling and stuff and also we'll see where the studio vlog takes us but first of all i have a few bits to do on patreon and yeah i've got a bit of admin -y stuff to do so i'm just going to sit on my desk and get them done probably will take quite a lot of time oh hi days say hi in the vlog you're on the whole vlog oh good yeah she like forces me to like stroke her it's crazy <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna get my stickers out and make my planner look nice and pretty and then get to work on kind of all the patron and the behind the scenes of everything. Let's get into the working day, shall we? So I've just made my to-do list for everything that I need to get done in the next couple of days. So it's currently Wednesday, I've got quite a lot more to do. I've just been taking off stuff that I put on for Tuesday and Monday. I actually put get showered and put makeup on and eyelashes on my to-do list just to feel more accomplished. Because Monday I was struggling a little bit to find motivation and for some reason I just find it really uh, motivating taking things off the to-do list. So something as simple as get showered on Monday was a priority for me which is what I did. Um, yes, yeah, so I've just made a list and everything and underneath here I've got all my old stickers and stuff. So I'm actually going to make these spreads look pretty because I haven't had my stickers at home when I've been using these planners. So I actually have two books. I've got this sticker book uh, which is all my stickers. Some of them are falling out. Oh my god! The bunny has been decapitated. Are you alright? So they're kind of just all like this. I've got all different ones. These are my ovary ones home ones, we've got Marshy, his cut the cozy bath time ones, uh, some s'mores, the busy bees. So these are the older sheets when I used to use the older paper. So that's one of my sticker files that I keep in. I really need to make the front look really cute because these were originally all mixed with the second sticker pack, uh, sticker folder that I've got. And this one is the second one, and as you can see, this is a chunky boy. Look at all those stickers in there. And this on the front got made for me. It's so cute. It's me and Emily with pudding and gingy and spice. And it got done by Nikki Diep, I think it is, but she's now changed her name. So, um, and I can't seem to find her when I try and search her name on Instagram. But I love her stickers. I use them all the time in my planner. And this one is just like a huge pile of a mix between things that were gifted to me and things that I've purchased myself of other artists. But as you can see, it's like nearly full and we've just got some loose uh, big stickers this is actually a fun one this is a logo that i created for a company called Popocky nails and this was a little cat logo that they had and they sent me the sticker of what they got made into a sticker but how cute is that i really love that one uh, and i've kept that and i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it yet but yeah we've got some great cute stickers these stickers i bought at comic-con and yeah, we've got just different artists and different stickers in here. So I'm going to get these out and I'm going to make my planner look cute. One thing I forgot, I forgot to bring my cute um, pens that I have, my fine liners. And I like to do little illustrations as well, but I accidentally forgot. I think I'm going to use some of these ones. These are cute. These got sent to me by Lila's Lelou. And they're really cute, so I think I'm going to use some of these ones today. Instagram stickers as well that I want to use. These ones, this little guy in. How 
cute's that? I chopped his straw off. He still looks cute though, look at this. Oh no, he's bald, he has no straw. I'm all done making today this week's sped looking all pretty looks quite cute I'll probably go back in and add some later usually I would like add them kind of as I was planning so for example this is really cute but like there I needed to get my nails done so I'd add like little stickers to that but because I didn't have the sticker packs for so long um it's not been working like that so it's more a case of just making the spread look pretty um where's it gone why am i in june but yeah this looks pretty cute i'm just making a little instagram video Ta -da. and then i'll post this to my instagram on the plus side, the lighting in this room is really, really good for taking photos and stuff because there's a natural light that we get through the window. <laughs> Daisy and Sophie are asleep in the bed. Oh man, my tulips are starting to die. I'm gonna get a coat on because it's time for our one daily walk and we need to walk Daisy. So we're gonna go out. It's such a sunny day today. Super excited to get some fresh sunshine and vitamin D. It's now four o'clock. I've been, uh, I uploaded to TikTok. I made like a time-lapse video from Procreate and then I replied to all my emails and everything. So I'm gonna go out, walk Daisy, come back and make my tea eat outside in the sunshine which is making me feel a lot more happier and then I'm going to get back to work and edit the vlog that you will have seen before this one hopefully. I don't know why I'm holding my blinds like this. This is made it weird. Also I thought I would show you guys this bargain that I bought a few years back but I haven't really used it. It's this pink and navy coat that I found from a charity shop. How cool is this? It's even got like a cool striped navy hood. <laughs> I love it. I've got some cheeky nuggies in my freezer so I'm just going to make like a chicken nugget wrap and some homemade chips for my lunch and I'm going to sit outside in the nice sunshine but chicken nugget time! The table's all set up ready for dinner 
Are you having fun sunbathing? And we've got some wraps to make some sweet chilli chicken wraps. Nice. I'm back in the studio. Can you even believe it? Now, actually, I wasn't going to record anything for this vlog uh, because I'm actually in the middle of filming a Patreon exclusive video, like a studio vlog day in the life. Every month on my Patreon, I put out an exclusive video just for them. And I was putting out a video today just for them, dedicating the whole day to them. Uh, but I've received a very exciting package and if it's what I think it is then it's only tradition that I open it with you guys and everyone can then see the unboxing of the new enamel pins and a restock of the B ones and yeah just a huge restock too. I didn't expect them to come anytime soon. I did order them around six weeks ago. Obviously with everything that's going on uh, I didn't know whether I'd receive them but you're currently sat on top of it and it is the box Hopefully it's heavy with the enamel pins in. It's just tradition that we open it together. If you've been here and watching the other studio vlogs, you will see I always unbox a new set of enamel pins on camera. We've got some recolors in this one, which I haven't done before. I've never ordered an enamel pin in like a totally different color, but using the same mold. Um, and we've also got some new designs. We've got two designs. We've got the strawberry enamel pin and a sun one. So fingers crossed that it is the enamel pin let's unbox it I am really 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 excited oh my gosh I'm literally so excited I can't even wait oh it is the enamel pins oh my gosh it's so a first we've got the sunny ones they look really cute so we've got the sunny enamel pins which are a brand new pin so let's open this up and see what he looks like Please excuse my nails as well. Obviously my nail technician isn't trading at the minute and they're so gross, I'm so sorry. But uh, first is my sunny pin. Now, this looks so detailed. I got this in rose gold. Oh my gosh, it's just as good as I imagined. Look at all those details. And I got a lot of screen printing details and everything with this one. Let me see if I can zoom in and you can. You can see this bad boy. And yeah, he looks really, really cute. And the little clouds have been filled with glitter. So we've got a little blue cloud here and we've got a little white sparkly cloud. It's also just like a little ray of sunshine for the din. Look at his little spiky rays for his hair. Oh, I wish this camera would focus. But yeah, he looks really, really cute. Look at this. I'm so happy with that one. And then we have another new one, which is Oh, the plain strawberry. So I ordered, I believe it was a hundred of each. So this is the plain strawberry one. I actually did a poll on my Patreon to see what colour people like better, whether they like the plain or the glitter one. Um, and they were kind of like mixed results. So let's open this up. And this is what they look like. It is nickel plated. Let me see if I can focus again. It's nickel plated, as you can see. And he's got little cheeks and everything. I feel like I need to switch out the camera lens so you can see a little closer, but I will give you a little close-up shot at the end. So that is the plain strawberry. Oh, it's so cute. And then we've got the glittery one. Ooh, which looks like a really interesting colour. I thought this was red glitter. I did order red glitter, but it's come out pink. But I'm actually surprisingly happy with the result. They've done it pink, but... It kind of looks really cool. This is so cute. What do you guys think? They're really, really cute. I mean, it's kind of good that they're two different colors because those who want like a pink one can get a pink one. It's really hard to show an owl pink because they're so shiny. It's hard to kind of show them up on camera. My pudding the dog who was wrapped up as a present was originally in like a dark pink and red color scheme. And now I changed it to these pastel colors that have turned out really well. Oh, look at this. He's got little heart cheeks. He looks really good in pastel. He looks really good. And I also changed the outer color because he was in rose gold to a silver. And yeah, this looks really, really good. I think this is actually, it feels like a brand new pudding pin. And then we got a restock of pudding as a snow a snowman. Then we got lots of tea restocks because we ran out, we sold out of these. Um, so it's just my little cup of tea. 
um, enamel pin, which is a very popular pin at the moment. This is what everyone has literally been waiting for. It is the B enamel pin. A lot of people have messaged me saying, when am I going to restock them? They've been out of stock for a few months. I have ordered 200, um, so hopefully they'll last but you just never know. And here is the beautiful bee and owl pin. Needs polishing, but ta-da! This is one of my most popular pins. And it's really, really cute. It's got little glittery wings. I love it! A restock of the baby shark and owl pins. Uh, Cause we'd, we've been sold out of this little baby for ages. So really, really happy um, that we've got him back in stock. And he looks as cute as ever. Look how cute he is. Baby shark, do, 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 do. We've got a restock of the Let's Huga pin. So, um, Huga is a Danish word for like a cozy atmosphere and kind of like the sense of coziness. It's more, of a, it more describes like a feeling. And yeah, this one was really popular as well and sells out quite often. And I feel like this is relevant now more than ever now that we're all stuck at home. It's kind of like nice and cozy. Good morning, so I've just done a little layout on my bed because I need to make a thumbnail for my previous vlog. So I've laid out all this stuff and I've took a photo of it. Last night I worked till about 11 o'clock and I did the commissions video, which hopefully you will have seen before this one. And I'm just gonna edit a thumbnail for my last video and get that uploaded and sent to Skillshare. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. They're both trying to share this little patch of sun on the bed. <laughs> Fluffy can't fit in because Daisy's taking up all his fit. You two are so cute. So I'm just adding some stuff to the thumbnail. This is my thumbnail so far. I did it on Photoshop and I've got my six fan art challenge and everything there and I'm going to add some like little details like maybe stars and stuff. It's good to like zoom in less and then I'm going to add like some, yeah, pretty stuff to make the thumbnail look even better. Um, I need to do work and you just like keep walking all over my laptop. <laughs> oh, honestly, she always walks all over this and then knocks this out and then my video stops uploading. It's looking straight at her. <laughs> <laughs> You've turned it off. There we go. Why does it like give it a blue tint? Oh, the sun keeps going in and out. Good morning, guys. So today I'm actually gonna finally film 
a video using the HP sprocket. It's just something I've been putting off for a long time, so I'm gonna just bite the bullet and finally do it. I always procrastinate when I'm doing like review videos and stuff because I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's just an unboxing video. I don't know why I'm thinking so much into it. And I've been wanting to start a journal for the longest time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start filming the video with this setup. So I'm just in the middle of filming my sprocket review. Oh my gosh. I printed out a few things, but I'm just gonna do a quick spread in this journal here just to show kind of how it looks like on the review video and stick it down and yeah, finish off the review video. Also, do you like my super professional setup? I'm literally sat on the floor and using like this weird box thing that I have in my bedroom. This is like where the stairwell is. But it's a really good corner because it captures loads of light from the window and it actually shines really, really brightly. And it's probably better than in my studio in terms of lighting. So <laughs> this is my setup. I'm gonna get my planner out and I've got a bunch of stuff and pens that I picked up from the studio. I just need some glue. And I'm gonna start making some travel journal Germany spreads to finish off the Sprocket printer review. paper and stuff that I got from Germany and I have no idea what this is it just looks really cute and I got like a bunch of stuff like a bookmark and we were there during a time called carnival if you want to see my Germany vlogs they'll be up on my personal channel we also went to the Lowenbrow beer house and I kept one of the beer mats from when we were sat outside. I've got a lot of cute stuff here. And we got these cool things from the Dom, um, uh, from the Dom Cathedral when we were in there. And it was like a letter and everything for Valentine's weekend. They were doing like a special event for Valentine's. This is the River Rhine that we walked down. We walked all the way down here. And we were like around here somewhere. Stick it right here. I wonder if you can remove it. Nope, it's pretty sticky. Okay, so I've just finished filming uh, the little B-roll footage and taking photos of a thumbnail for the HP Sprocket and this, what I, this is what I did. It's just basically a setup like this on my little box thing. I've got the little ring light on and then I just laid it out like this, put my camera like that and took a photo. And I printed out me my little Animal Crossing character when it was my birthday to put in my um, planner because look how cute this is. It's just really, really cute. And I also put the illustration, printed the illustration out that I did earlier. Uh, I really like this printer. It is so, so fun. The quality is not the like best, but what can you expect for a little tiny printer like this? In terms of vibrancy though, the print quality is so so good so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover based on this but I'm gonna put these in in my planner in there and then I also did a bunch of stuff let me try and show you what I did uh, in 
my new travel journal that I've start, finally started. So I did my first page, which looks like this. Oh, this actually would make a really good thumbnail. One second, I'm gonna take a photo. <laughs> I'll put this in there to, to make it look like the thumbnail photo. Anyway, um, so these are the pages that I did. I did this one, and then this is my next page. Super, super cute my new travel journal that I'm going to keep and then I love this photo this is from the sunset when we were coming back from Cologne it was literally one of the best sunsets ever I actually did a TikTok about it because it was that pretty I'll show So I shared that to my TikTok as well. But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing and filming the video. Oh, I really like this page. What I've done is I used one of the bags because I didn't know where to put these. These are things that I picked up from a gallery. Slot them in here and then tied it with some washi tape and then put some cute stickers on the top. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm excited to start journaling a bit more and now that I've got this like little mini printer I think it's really gonna help uh yeah just process my feelings but visually as well with some pictures and stuff so excited about that if you had to choose one colour to wear for the rest of your life and you weren't allowed to change it, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much to my beautiful patrons who helped me dedicate the time to film and edit and put up these videos. Thank you so, so much for watching, everyone. All right, then. Till next time. I love you. See you in a little bit. Love you. Goodbye.